It's time for the Simpsons Game Review for the Wii. Ah, The Simpsons. Who hasn't seen or at least heard of the show? Nobody, right? Well, what about the games? Now, from what I've heard and read online, the vast majority of The Simpsons games have just downright sucked. But the only other Simpsons game I've played in the past was The Simpsons Cartoon Studio for the PC, which... Well, it didn't downright suck, but it was definitely not one of the best games I've ever played. The story in this game is kind of weird, but then again, their skin is pure yellow. One day, Bart finds the playing manual for The Simpsons game. It gives the Simpson family special powers, like Homer can turn into a giant ball and smush everyone in his way. Marge can influence the townspeople to do her will. Bart can turn into Bartman to give him the ability to glide, which is the most pathetic glide I've ever seen. He's basically just falling at an 80 degree angle. But anyway, Lisa can use her Buddha powers to play God, which, if you think about it, is ironic and Maggie has the awesome ability to climb through air ducts and push things with her pacifier. They all think that they're using their powers for good, but really, it seems to me that each one uses their powers for their own self-gratification in some violent manner. Like Lisa, being the tree hugger that she is, destroys Mr. Burns' lumber mill. Or like Homer plows... <laughs> Mr. Plow, plows everyone down with his fat so that he can be the winner of a competition. After you complete a few levels with the characters, aliens come down and start to invade, so the family decides to use their powers to stop the aliens. As you go through each level, you usually get to play with two out of the five family characters, and you'll have to use each one's abilities to solve the puzzles in each level to beat it. There was one level both my siblings and I really liked. It's called the Game Engine, where apparently this is where all the video games are created. We liked this level because there were many game parodies the developers came up with, like Mario, Sonic, Mega Man and Need for Speedo Sexy Time? <clears throat> Sorry about that. So anyway, we thought that was a really funny and clever idea. The whole game is chocked full with humor, which really adds to the atmosphere of playing as The Simpsons. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, no, no. My place is here. I've, uh, I've made a life for myself in this world with my lovely new bride. Finally, a woman who understands me. She is my everything. <laughs> I was my, oh, and she's funny too. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> As you play through the levels, each character will comment in a humorous, satirical way, which was funny for about the first five minutes. After that, they start to repeat the same dialogue over and over again, which becomes really annoying rather than funny. The graphics are good for this type of game. It's cell shaded which gives you the feeling that you're right in the show. The cutscenes usually use the actual graphics and art style that you see in the show. The controls are not the best. They are playable, but I found that they were a bit oversensitive and a little unresponsive. You'll use the Wiimote Nunchuck combo, A to jump, B to punch. Each character's powers are used in a different control scheme, but the main principle with all of them is that you'll use the Wiimote's motion sensors to pull them off. The camera was on the brink of terrible. It would frequently fight with you on which angle you wanted. You'll use the Z button and the D-pad to maneuver the angle around you, but it usually felt like the camera was battling you for the angle that IT wanted instead of your choice. There are many items throughout the levels that can only be gathered by certain characters. There are also cliches in each level, which are funny, but instead of the comic book guy speaking them, you have to read them, which we found to be quite odd, because the comic book guy is awesome, and it would have been funnier if he read them aloud. There were many games called Wii Moments throughout the levels, which took you outside of your main scenario. These were fun, but I didn't really bother with them too much. The Simpsons game is an alright game. The graphics are good for what the game is about, terrific voice acting, the powers for each character were interesting, and the game is really funny. But graphics and humor isn't really what you're looking for in a game, is it? The controls were okay, but a bit difficult to deal with. The camera was usually fighting with you, the game is pretty short, and the overall gameplay, in my opinion, was just dull. I could have done without the monotonous fighting, and sometimes I couldn't even tell what I was supposed to do next. Now you can press the 1 button and it will tell you what to do, but how to do it was confusing most of the time. But overall, it is an okay game to play. Being The Simpsons, it does have great voice acting and humor, but I'm pretty sure that most gamers will agree that it does need some work to be a really good game. This game gets a 3.25 out of 5, with the title of Good. Number one! We're number one! That's right! Oh, Homer, try to show a little dignity in victory. Eat fist, Lord Crunch!